beauties! So today I'm going to show you my skincare routine, both what I do in the morning and in the evening. And I really wanted to do this video because if you want your makeup to look good, it's really important that your skin looks and feels good as well. And also that you treat it well. So I thought I'd start by letting you guys know what type of skin I have. I have normal to sensitive skin. It's a little bit dry, but mostly it just lacks oil. And I do have a little bit of flaky skin right here and around my nose. So my skin lacks oil in the T-zone area. So in the morning you always have dead skin cells after a long night's sleep and to get rid of that and just really cleanse my face I like going in with my Clarisonic Mia 2 which most of you know is a face cleanser. It actually cleanses the skin six times better than only my fingers would and I really feel like it cleans my face and also leaves it hydrated. I've been using this for about two years now and I absolutely love it. Uh, I like using this more gentle brush head in the morning. It's the cashmere cleanse and then for the more sensitive areas of my face I like using the smaller one which is the satin precision brush. Um, I like using it around my eyes, a little bit around my nose and just the smaller more sensitive areas. So I like going in with this after I've used this. So the cleanser that I like using with my Clarisonic is this Emma Hardy Moringa Balm. It's a cleansing balm that I really like. As you can see, I've used a lot of it. It's just really nice and thick and I really feel like it cleans uh, my skin really nicely. First I applied this to dry skin and I'm sorry about the weird angle here. I usually don't sit when I do this, but it's the only way I could film it in the bathroom. And then I take the Clarisonic with the Cashmere Cleanse brush head. I rinse it underneath water and then I start cleansing my face. So I'm starting around my mouth area going in circles and I have really light pressure on the skin and I also drag it down my neck and then after 20 seconds the Clarisonic will beep and I move on to the forehead. I cleanse there for 20 more seconds till it beeps again and I continue to my cheek area. After 10 seconds of cleansing here it beeps again and I do the final cheek. After 10 more seconds the Clarisonic will turn off and then you're done with your one minute cleanse. Then I rinse that under warm water and then I dry it off. After that, I easily changed the brush heads from the Cashmere Cleanse to the Satin Precision brush head. So as I said, I used this around the nose and around the eyes, also the chin, and for the remaining seconds I go down my neck, then rinsing and drying that one as well. To remove the cleanser, I'm going to use this face cloth, which I rinse under warm water, and then I use that to remove the balm. Next, I like using this First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. It's an acid toner that removes bacteria from your face, so I like using this to remove pimples or prevent new ones from appearing. So I take one of these pads and I gently apply it down my face. After that, I go in with the Sensei Silk Softening Lotion in Moist and it just really hydrates the skin before I apply face cream. And this one with the cleansing has really helped me remove all of this flakiness uh, in between my brows and around my nose. So this summer I used a sample and I liked it so much that I had to go get the full size. And I've been using this for two months now, but as you can see, it's still up to here. You can see that, I don't know, but it's up to here, so this will last me for at least a year, so yay! <laughs> so I put three drops of that onto my hand and then I gently go over my skin. Then I move on to the eye cream and I'm using the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream and I bought this two months ago because I've heard a lot of people say that it calms down the under eye circles. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of improvement in that area yet but I'm still hoping since I only used it for two months. Uh, but yeah, it hydrates very well so I like using it before applying eye makeup. I apply a tiny bit of that onto my brow bone and underneath the eyes and I'm patting it in with my ring finger since it's the weakest finger and it's good to use that around the sensitive eye area. 
So for my quite sensitive and dry skin, I like using this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. It moisturizes the skin very well and it also sinks into the skin fast, so I can quickly go ahead and put on my foundation and the rest of my makeup. So I just dot that onto my cheeks, my forehead, my nose and chin, and then I gently massage that into the skin. The final step is to use a lip balm, and today I used Carmex. I do almost the same routine at night time, except for a couple of products, so I thought I'd show you that. To remove my makeup, I like using this silky cleansing oil with chamomile from the body shop, and I apply it with a cotton pad. And I put water on this, squeeze it out, and then I put a drop of the oil on top. And the reason why I put water on this is so that the oil won't absorb into the cotton. So I get the most use of this as possible. And uh, I use two of these on each eye and then one for the rest of my face. And that removes almost all my makeup. Um, sometimes I have a little bit of mascara or liner left. So then I go in with a cotton pad and this L'Oreal Eye and Lip Makeup Remover for waterproof makeup. It's the one that has this oily liquid on top and the watery liquid on the bottom. And this one removes all the rest of the eye makeup. Removing your makeup at night and really cleansing your skin is one of the most important things to keep your skin healthy. So I like going in with the Emma Hardy cleansing balm again and I just put that all over my face and then I again go in with the Clarisonic. But this time uh, at night I like going in with the normal brush head. Uh, these ones you can buy separately but this one comes with the Mia too and I think this one is the most important one to really uh, get all of your makeup off. And here you can see the difference in the two brush heads. This is uh, a lot longer, a lot more gentle. So I like using this in the morning to just gently cleanse my face. And then this one, um, here are the bristles a lot more concentrated. So they will cleanse a lot harder. Um, but still with my sensitive skin, it doesn't hurt my skin at all. It just removes the makeup and makes it feel hydrating afterwards. After that, I again go in with the acid toner and then the facial lotion. Uh, I also use the Bobbi Brown eye cream again. And the only thing that's different is the night cream. I like using this Origins High Potency Nitamins Night Cream. As I said, my skin lacks oil and this one brings oil back to the skin. It hydrates it all through the night and when I wake up in the morning, my skin feels amazing. So I really, really love this one. Then the final thing is a lip balm just to hydrate my lips through the night. And yeah, that's my whole nighttime skincare routine. So I thought I'd just mention that every two weeks or so, I like using the Glam Glow Mud Mask. It removes a lot of the dirt from my skin, like blackheads and pimples. And it's also very good for spot treatments. If you want to remove a pimple, then just place this on top, sleep with it overnight, and then you wake up and the pimple has calmed down. So I like using it for that and it's very good. So definitely worth checking out. So Clarisonic here in Norway wanted me to try the Mia 2, but since I already had it, they were kind enough to let me give one away to one of my subscribers. Uh, unfortunately, since it's Clarisonic Norway, I am only allowed to give it to one of my Norwegian subscribers, which I'm so sorry about, but don't get too upset yet, because I'm already doing two giveaways on my channel. One where I'm giving away two of the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palettes, and then one where I'm giving away the six original Monster High dolls and those two giveaways are both international so if you want to check those out then uh, I'll link to those down below and then also here in the info card on the screen and if you are Norwegian then stick around because I'll end this video in Norwegian so you can get to know how to win so yeah I hope you liked seeing my skincare routine and that you got some tips from it and I'll see you soon okay so if you live in Norway and you want to win this Clarisonic Mia 2 so you need to be abonnated på kanalen min, og så legg gjerne en kommentar under hvor du sier hva som er ditt favoritt skjønnhetsprodukt, eller skincare product, for jeg har lyst til å bli et sånt jeg selv kan finne ut av
hva mer jeg burde prøve ut, så giveawayen den starter nå og slutter om en uke på lørdag kl. 12 på kvelden. Da vil jeg trekke en vinner tilfeldig ut fra de kommentarene. Så vil jeg kontakte vinneren på meldingen her på YouTube, og jeg vil også lage en video et par dager etterpå hvor jeg sier hvem som vant. Og hvis du er under 18, så må du få lov av foreldrene dine til å delta, slik at jeg kan få navnet ditt og adressen til å kunne sende den her. Og hvis jeg glemte av noe nå, så sjekk bare infoboksen under, slik at du kan se over alle reglene. Men det er nå bare å være abonnert på kanalen, og så skriv den kommentaren under, så velger jeg ut fra det. Så ja, og hvis du lurer på hvor du får dere en sånn Clarisonic, så er det på kicks.no, det var der jeg kjøpte min. Og ja, håper dere likte denne giveawayen og videoen, og så ses vi snart. Ha det!